engineering students and a local high school team up for a different kind of class project with an important real world result. Local 12's Adam Clements visited Oak Hills High School today and shows us how their efforts will help a disabled classmate. These Oak Hills High School students are used to building robots. After all, that's what you do in a robotics class. Last month, they were given a different kind of assignment. It was really vague and we just had to come together as a team and figure out what we needed to do to get this done and get it done right for this student. This student is Jerry Patavin. He has cerebral palsy and needs to lie down on a wedge for several hours a day to stretch his muscles. This left Jerry stuck in a corner, immobile. It was just very cumbersome. It took up a lot more space and we had a student back here that could be easily agitated with you know, interruptions and we had to try to get the chair back in here and it was just very awkward. The group's task, fix the problem. Basically we built this thing that the wedge could sit on that they could move him around in the class so he knows, like so he can see the board and you know talk to everybody and interact with everybody in the class is basically what it was. It's wonderful. He enjoys just getting a different view sometimes. He's generally over in this area just because space is tight but we, we're able to move him out sometimes when we need to. And it just makes him more comfortable and feel more included. Sure, the attention and positive feedback have been great, but what these guys love is knowing their classroom project made a real-life difference. It's pretty cool, actually. I've never, I, I've never like done anything like that necessarily to help someone that much. So it's kind of, it's a good feeling. Oh, it feels great. It's a really good feeling. In Green Township, Adam Clements, Local 12 News. Don't you just love a good news story? 